Get situated. What's going on, guys? Shoulders and traps today. So I wasn't sure if I was gonna vlog this or not. I figured, why the hell not? We might as well. Haven't put any shoulder and trap workouts on the channel yet, as far as vlogs are concerned. And uh, yeah, kind of on a time crunch. I got some stuff to do in about. Let's see what time is it now 10 32 in the morning i have some things to take care of at two o'clock today so yeah that's plenty of time i get it i just uh when you factor in travel cardio sauna on top of training and also post workout you know it's gonna be a little bit of a time crunch and then getting where i need to go after changing and all that stuff it's more of a time crunch than I would like. I tried to get out the door as quicker, as quickly as I could. Um, it's okay though. It's okay. I'm pretty excited to go hit shoulders and traps. Should be a really good day. Legs are good and sore from yesterday. Uh, I didn't vlog that, so that's not showing up. But I had a pretty intense leg day. Um, did a lot of sets of dumbbell lunges after I did the V squat. So last leg workout which was on the channel before this I did two variations of the hack squat the two different hack squat machines whereas this time I did the V squat <clears throat> which you guys haven't seen on the channel yet some of you know what that machine is this is a different angle <clears throat> that's one that people like to stand on backwards and bend at the hips to work their glutes uh, you'll see a lot of chicks on, on that machine uh, but if you do it the, you know, standing the proper way with the pad against your back, it's, it's a squat. And, uh, so I did several sets of that. I did five sets of that. And then I did a bunch, I don't even remember how many sets of dumbbell lunges. So, uh, yeah, my leg, I haven't done lunges in a couple of weeks. So my legs are good and sore. And then I did a bunch of other things, but getting kind of off subject, really excited to train shoulders today. We'll get good and warm. See if we can get a really good pump going. I'm going to go a little bit heavier today. I don't think I'm going to go super, super heavy to where I'm doing three to five reps on my final sets. I still like to get, <clears throat> excuse me, I still like to get at least eight reps on my final set. So I typically stay in the 10 to 20 rep range, usually 10 to 15 reps, uh, training for hypertrophy, trying to keep time under tension, uh, slow down the negatives, really control the weight through the whole motion, no matter what I'm doing. Uh, sometimes I'm a little more mindful about slower negatives than others, but I'm always trying to get a really good squeeze and really good contraction and a really good negative on every rep. So, like I said, I'm excited. Stay tuned. Stay, I don't know what we're going to do post-workout. I do have some chicken breast defrosting in the fridge. Might do that as my post-workout meal. I don't know, but we'll definitely have some protein. I did buy some ready-made meals while I was at the grocery store yesterday. Yes, I go to the grocery store every couple of days. <laughs> So I'm always uh, always re-upping my meals. I buy meals for three to four days at a time because I like to buy a lot of fresh stuff. So obviously the food spoils rather quickly. Let's go train.
that's all she wrote. The damn good shoulder and trap, they got a great pump going. <laughs> great pump going. We're getting there little by little. Still got some belly fat. I'm trying to slow the carve off. But uh, I'm down. Since I got consistent with coming to the gym and not even like a slob all the time, I'm down Ooh, close to 50 pounds. Um, and I've replaced some of that weight with muscle, you know, so the scale shows I'm down like 30 pounds, but it's more like 50 really because of the replacement as far as body fat, down about 50 pounds of body fat. So we're getting there little by little, you know, chalk this up to a great workout. Um, don't really have time to do cardio in the sauna today. So I'll make up for that with biceps and triceps tomorrow and then the following day after that, I'll have a dedicated cardio day, then legs and so on. So, not sure what we're gonna eat just yet. This gonna be something good. So, post workout, let me adjust this a little bit. I had my scoops of protein already. Um, when I was at Kroger yesterday, I decided to grab a few of these ready-made meals. I haven't done them in a while. This is an egg and bacon scramble. It has potatoes, cheddar cheese, onions, Really, really good stuff. They run seven bucks. Pretty well balanced. Decent saturated fats, obviously, because of the egg. Good fats from the egg, but some saturated fats from the bacon for sure. And uh, some decent carbs from some potatoes, cheese, onions, you know. Pretty well balanced. Real good post-workout meal. Had a great shoulder workout earlier. Of course, I'm going to wash it down with this. Like I said, I had my protein already. I've had plenty of water today. I like to have this with my meals. But what'd you guys train today? Very curious. I appreciate everybody that's been watching these vlogs, coming along the ride with me and on the path to continuing to lose body fat, build muscle, just a body recomposition altogether. It's been almost two years I've been slowly working on this body recomposition because I was at my heaviest ever. ever. I was the most out of shape I've ever been in my life. And I got sick of it because I know better. I know better. I grew up in the gym. My first job was at Body Elite Fitness Westside, which doesn't exist anymore. When I was 15, I, I grew up in the gym. My dad was in a competitive, you know, bodybuilder. He was uh, not open weight, but he was over 40 and uh, middleweight. And he did he did do open a few times, but I, I mean, I grew up around bodybuilders. You know what I mean? I, I I should not I should not be overweight and out of shape and all that. So. Slowly getting there little by little. It takes time, especially when you're just not gonna, when I'm not just going to hardcore diet because I don't want to not gain any muscle and not have any strength. That's that's why I try to do a body recomposition. So it's kind of up and down with, you know, calorie surplus, caloric deficit, carb cycling. I'm not really big on keto, um, but there's a few different philosophies. Intermittent fasting. I kind of apply that because I don't eat until after I work out. I'll stop eating at a certain point at night, and then I go to the I go to the gym, fasted. I train fasted. I'll I'm usually fasted for about twelve hours. At the point that no, like fourteen to fifteen hours by the time I actually take some calories in, um, so I get my calories in within like a nine hour window. So I, I implement a few different philosophies and it kind of works for me and it's kind of been pretty steady. It's got its ups and downs. Some days I'm leaner with less water retention. Some days I'm puffier and bloated if I have dairy, a lot of dairy and stuff like that. Like this cheese shouldn't hurt me too bad. Um, you can see it in my face. I'm not holding a lot of water today. Um, you know, the little bit of love handles and belly's pretty flat today for the most part. Uh, I can see my abdomen for a decent, you know, a little bit. I can see it a little bit, but we'll get there. We will get there. So make sure you like, com like, comment, subscribe, hit notifications if you want to make sure not to miss any of these videos. And until next time, guys, y'all have a good one.